One of my favorite stories is when a journalist asked Latroy Hawkins, and you were a baby in that locker room, who's the best third baseman in the game right now? And he looked and he pointed at you to the journalist. That's a veteran, 800 games in the big leagues. At that point in your career, what did that mean from a man like that? And I bet you it still would mean a lot today. What did it mean back then? Well, man, a lot. Latroy has been around a long time, and uh, he's seen a lot of great players, definitely a lot better players before me, but obviously it meant a lot. And, uh, you know, obviously for him to say that, you know, there's a standard, you know, whenever you win this thing, you want to hold up, you know, you never want to give it up. And that's been my goal ever since I won the first one is to never give it up. And uh, whenever you win it every year or whenever you win it, I, uh, it's the one of the best feelings ever. I mean, it's an honor to be here with so many great players. But, uh, you know, when Latroy says things like that, you know, there's a standard and you feel like you got to hold up, you know, and play well. How much of his instincts, how much of it is hard work doing this every single year? I mean, I don't know. It's maybe half and half. I feel like I work pretty hard on my defense, maybe a little too hard where I wear myself out, you know. But, uh, you know, when I come here to the ceremony and I see all these great players, you know, it's all worth it. What does it mean, because you've done it now for a decade, to trot out to your position with that gold patch in your glove, to your teammates, to the crowd, and to the opposing team? Well, first off, is I don't want to make an error <laughs> with a gold patch on my hand. But uh, I think that's, like I said, that's a standard. You know, there's a standard here, and uh, you never want to give it up. But you also want to make sure that you show why you earned that gold glove and why you uh, why you have it on your hand. And uh, that's all I try to do. Do you ever take a peek at the advanced metrics? Um, I do a little bit. I think there's a lot to it, and I think it's really important. You know, um, now that all those, I think it's a little much at times. You know, but I think it's very important to see that. Um, I think the eye test is important to watch, but at the same time, I think those metrics say a lot also. I'm going to give you a choice. Walk off homer, and you have a chance probably to do this next year. Walk off homer to win the World Series or diving play that needs the final out with runners on second and third. You win the World Series. Which one do you take? And extol the virtues of both. Yeah, I mean, they're both unbelievable. Um, I think hitting is so hard nowadays with these pitchers that a walk off homer is a pretty darn good feeling. Um, but. Also, at the same time, if you can protect your pitcher and save runs as much as you can, it's a pretty amazing feeling. It's hard, it's really hard to say, but when you're facing 98 plus every day, you gotta go with the walk-off homer. All right, the final question for you is superstitions with your glove, and part of that is caring for your glove, but does your glove get treated different than other parts of your game? Yeah, it does. I don't like, you know, my glove is not a, nobody could put their hand in my glove. You know, that's a, that's a big no-no for me. Um, I don't like when anybody touches, you could touch it and grab it, but if you put your hand in the pocket, we got, we got problems. And uh, that's a big no-no for me. And uh, I'm not a fan when someone puts their hand in my glove. Okay. And, and do, you, do you keep it a certain place between innings when you hit? What do you do? No, I, you know, I lay it there. Um, you know, if I get out and I have a terrible bat, I might throw it. Or if I make an error, I might chuck that thing. But uh, thank God that Rawlings glove has been kind to me and it, it, it still makes some plays for me. But uh, you know, uh, I, I try to make sure I treat it right. I make sure it's bro broken the right way. And uh, if it doesn't feel exactly the way I want it, I won't use it. Final one. I lied. There's, there's Mike Schmidt, there's Brooks Robinson, and you. That's it, dude. Those are the, the double-digit winners. What does that mean, that club? Well, it's unbelievable, obviously, with Brooks Robinson, who is one of the greatest of all time. It's, it's an amazing feeling. And Mike Schmidt, one of the best third basemen of all time, in my eyes, probably is the best third baseman of all time. And just being in that category with him is an amazing feeling. It's an honor. It's humbling. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, just want to make, you know, just kind of live up to that expectation, I guess.